because the future, we know that, that our lives and the world is changing so rapidly, it's so unpredictable, and some of the developments are definitely not comforting. is uncertain and that each one of us has some role to play in it. You know that its future is always part of a present time. The question of the future is also always interrelated to what's going on now. Really to think about future from the present perspective. And artists should have a sense of future. Art is the place where we're able to express our fears and desires and our hopes. The art should not find solutions for our world. That's not the role of the artist, it was never the role. But the art can ask questions nobody would ask. Art has the capacity to channel our thoughts and our ideas. It can do that in many ways, but one of the ways that it can do it, which I think is really valuable in the way that it can make a visual poetry and allow us to see forwards and allow us to think about where we're going and where we're starting from. I think it is artists who open a view onto the future by exercising what I call radical imagination. But artists are capable of catching the moments and formulating themselves beyond language in a way and I think that will help us and give us some guidance for the future. Only because the earliest aspects of human civilization included art. Art as a spiritual uh, part of life and maybe afterlife or pre-life. Uh, art as a practical way to hold information for future generations. It's like putting information in a time capsule. For me, the future is, I mean, I, I think it's quite bright. The idea of the future as something that is not possible only happens when one cannot see a horizon. And a horizon has to do with the possibility. As long as there is a horizon where one can imagine the possibility, then one can envisage, envisage whatever future. I think there's that, that uncertainty is not a disturbing quality. It's an open quality. It means that we can make the future. It's up to us to make a future. Interface. I think it's a very hygienic, futuristic vision, which is uh, try to translate into a film. It's it's also scary in a, in a way. So inside and outside of the building, and looking into the past, present, and future, it shows the different spectrums of time and space. We're gonna use so much like physical vehicles, like cars, in the very very long future. Maybe without tires. Even cannot line, a human cannot line it in the, in the sky or is a time space and then.